we were given f of x equals the quantity four sine x plus eight cosine x times inverse tangent x and asked to determine f prime of x. Notice how because we have a product of functions here, we will have to apply the product rule of differentiation to determine f prime of x. Or if we let the first function of four sine x plus eight cosine x be equal to u, and the second function of inverse tangent x be equal to v, then the derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u times v prime plus v times u prime. Or we can say the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Which means in our case, f prime of x is equal to the first function of four sine x plus eight cosine x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of inverse tangent x with respect to x, and then plus the second function of inverse tangent x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of four sine x plus eight cosine x with respect to x. And now for the next step, we determine the derivative here and here, and then simplify if possible. So f prime of x is equal to the quantity four sine x plus eight cosine x times the derivative of inverse tangent x. If we take a look at our formulas here on the right, the formulas do include the chain rule, but notice how when u is equal to x, u prime is just equal to one, and therefore the derivative of inverse tangent x with respect to x is just one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And then we have plus inverse tangent x times the derivative of four sine x plus eight cosine x with respect to x which is equal to four cosine x, and then plus eight times negative sine x, or just minus eight sine x. Let's see if we can simplify. Let's write this first product as a fraction where the numerator is four sine x plus eight cosine x, and the denominator is the quantity one plus x squared. But let's factor out four from the numerator and write the numerator as four times the quantity sine x plus two cosine x. And again, the denominator is just the quantity one plus x squared. And then we have plus for the second product. Let's factor out the greatest common factor of four from four cosine x minus eight sine x and write the product as four times inverse tangent x times the quantity cosine x minus two sine x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.